Yeah. That's Eat. good, but I, I want some dunks. Some I got those for you. Yeah, yeah, let's have some dunks. All right. We got the steak Why right not? there. Here's the sizzle. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It was fantastic. Dunks everywhere. My, wow. my favorite dunk in the NBA is when the opposing player dunks in the other arena. Mm -hmm. And the player, and like the fans, just like are like oh. be entertained, yeah. right? So. Because if a home player does it, you know, the, naturally they're gonna absolutely it's just yeah. the the uh, opponent. Oh, oh, I'm, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, that happened at, the, at that Larry Nance dunk. It, you'll notice. Well, actually, let's go to it now. You want to break down that? Yeah. 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 Because yeah. it was very surprising. It. So I think we should get right to. This much from the net, so I hope that guy didn't choke you. on his popcorn. No, exactly what he's going down. Yeah. Um, what was, a way to go out, though. The Nets bench too. That's the one. That's that's the <laughs> one that stood out, right? Yeah. yeah well, we'll I, give you that later. Wait, later this, really later? Yeah, okay. it's a tease. Right, it's, it's called a tease. A tease. Ah. Yeah. Thus. So we get Thank to you. stick around. Yes. Yeah, okay. And speaking of teases, sauna. For Eighteen pounds. Eighteen pounds. She got in the sauna for six hours. Then went and worked out, got back in the sauna, then did a, a, a session with Misha Tate, like that was filmed for the show, then went and made, then went and got in the sauna again and the next morning, got on the scale and was 135. And, oh. and she said, it, making weight is a state of mind. It's just mental. So when you're to where she's just all, she's in, this, in a state where she has to only do things that will help her win this fight. And it's, it's, been, a, it's been a back and forth for her because it's, it's, it's unnatural. Speaking of mental, I mean, you, you were with her before, you were with her after. Mm -hmm. You've seen this kind of, you know, this, this journey, yeah. really. How has she changed? Because for the, for the, you know, quite frankly, for nine months, 10 months, 11 months, she didn't really want to be out in public. She didn't really want to hear anything from anyone. She wanted to be off by herself. But to, and she pulls them aside, and they go into this office, and she goes, I knew this place because this is the only place there was no cameras, right? This was like Dana White's office at this, yeah. uh, at this place in Vegas. And she goes, we should talk. And she goes, you know, you have to negotiate this stuff in advance. Like, you... Give me a diary. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's funny how those things line up, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, uh, going perfect. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, you can read Ramona's full story on Rousey uh, in ESPN the magazine. And on ESPNW, uh, it's up now this morning. Uh, a great, a Check it out. great read. Uh, Ramona's going to be on Sports Center all day long, so <laughs> we look forward to hearing more stories about Ronda Rousey and her return. Still ahead here on LJ. Meanwhile, the defending NBA champs left a combined average of nearly 71 points back in Cleveland last night. LeBron, Kyrie, Love all stayed home for the trip to Memphis, prompting this headline from the Cleveland Plain Dealer, JV Squad. It wasn't the same for the Cavs. Or for the fans. Stars sitting, though, it's not a new phenomenon. The PTI guys debate it. The same rare is the broadcaster and man that was Craig Sager. He was a rare gem, and really not just for his wardrobe, but for the size of his heart. And I mean that in all sense of the word, the exuberance that he brought to each and every interview, the bar he set really for all of us in this business, it, and most importantly, what he gave to his friends and family, the ones we now rally around in his passing. Everything's going to lay on my shoulders at the, end of, at the end of this season because that's what everybody thinks of Seattle and defense. Yeah. Run that thing, man. Give us a chance. D don't throw it. Don't turn it over. Don't do those kinds of things. We've seen how that's played out. Seattle's defense was fine on Thursday. Seattle's defense was not so fine Sunday in Green Bay. There's a big difference with this team playing on the road and playing at home. They clinched their division Thursday night with the win, but it's likely that when it comes to right. playoff time, they're going to have to travel. How does Pete Carroll get this group of guys to play like they do at home when they're out? Because Fantastic point. Here's the issue. When you turn it over six times, offensive line, whatever whatever Tom Cable, the offensive line coach, and, and Bevel, all those guys have to do, they got to get this thing put together. Because if you're relying on Russell Wilson and Baldwin with Lockett or Kershaw, whoever can make it, even Graham, until late in February. So Sherman, keep talking. Keep going, baby. Saturday on a Thursday, and technically it's a Friday. Okay, I'm done. I'm out. See <laughs> done. <ya. laughs>